Welcome Hornets. Today we're going to be talking about inverse functions. And specifically, for this portion, how do we know something a function has an inverse and what would tell us that it doesn't? First of all, be aware that in order to have an inverse function, we have to have a very specific type of function. In the previous lecture that I was doing, we talked about how um, relations go to uh, functions as a more specific, just like a quadrilateral goes to a rectangle. Well, the one-to-one -one functions are specific functions that for every x have only one y. This identifies a function that satisfies the vertical and horizontal line tests. Notice that a parabola is not going to be one-to-one. -one. That's because it will have two, y, uh, two x values that have the same y value, that idea of a symmetry through the y-axis. So because of that, only functions that have that specific characteristic, for every x there is only one y, and for every y there is only one x. That's one-to-one. -one. x goes to one y, 1y goes to 1x, 1 to 1. Now, lots of functions do this, and a lot of functions don't, so we have to be very careful. I've already identified one that doesn't. Some cubics do, but not all cubics. If they fail the horizontal line test, there will be no function. So we have to be very careful. A couple of other things about inverses. Inverses. Take a, gra take a point, x, y, or let's call it a, b, and reflect it. So if this is b on my y-axis and a on my x, then I'm flipping them so that I can find the reflected point b, comma, a. Notice how the a and the b change positions. This creates a reflection through the axis y equals a, or the tangent line at 45 degrees. Notice, this is a tangent line set at 45 degrees. Okay, so please be aware. We're looking at theta equals pi over 4, and that's this line right here. Okay, so notice that the values are reflected over this axis y equals a, and it will only happen effectively if we have a one-to-one -one function. So that's really what we're talking about. Now, certain graphs are going to be very easy. For example, let's take a look at just x cubed. Here is x cubed. If I try to reflect x cubed, through the inverse axis and draw that inverse, I want to make sure that these three points on the inverse axis are where they are. So I start from one point and go to the other. Notice if this is f of x, this is referred to as f inverse of x. We identify it by a very small negative one exponent in between the f and the parentheses x. Alrighty, so let's just take a look again. Inverse functions are one-to-one. -one. Only one-to-one -one functions that have, uh, that are one-to-one -one will have an inverse, and if they are not one-to-one -one or they fail the horizontal line test, then we can't find an inverse for them. This is going to require us to restrict the domain, which we will talk about later. All righty. Thank you very much. And we'll continue in a moment.